Cursed are the ones with bad imagination. They will never get to experience a hundred lifetimes. So, human beings are quirky. And one of the quirks we have is that we do not work well with uncertainty. Our brain just makes up stories to fill in the gaps of our knowledge. And this may be the biggest obstacle we may be facing as a species right now. Our own imagination. You are so in your head that you can't even enjoy where you are. Your insecurities are screaming so loud that it drowns the sounds of the rest of the world. And before you know it, you have trapped yourself in a self-fulfilling prophecy whose sole purpose is to validate every worry you have. And then you spiral and spiral and spiral. We don't know how to not think. Nobody taught us that. So here I am, your Lord and Savior. I get it, okay? I completely 100%, 1000% get it. I am a serial overthinker myself. For the first 20 years of my life, the only thing I've done is think and rethink and overthink every single thing in my life. I have thought and planned to the moon and back, but when it actually comes to executing something, <sighs> sometimes I feel like I am living only when I'm thinking about my life and the actual life is just the filler material and that's there is something about that that just doesn't sit right with me. Life is meant to be lived not thought about but I have figured out a life hack to not let imagination take over my life. Do you know what my favorite kind of jumping is? It's jumping to conclusions. Let's just admit it, okay? We all love to do that. But the funny part is, all the conclusions that we jump to are always bad situations. They are like the worst case scenarios. Just think about the last time you have jumped to conclusions and it was actually a good thing. Our brain is actually trying to fill in the gaps because we do not like uncertainty. Uncertainty means danger, so our brain comes up with all the worst case scenarios that can happen and then it runs a simulation in our head so that we can be prepared in case any of those bad situations actually end up happening with us. This is our brain's way of protecting us and ensuring that we are ready. This is just how we have evolved. This is all fine and dandy, but the problem starts when your brain gets in the habit of doing this and then it jumps to conclusion in every single situation and before you know it you're working in overdrive wasting all the time and resources on this useless endeavor so whenever you start to worry about anything anything just ask yourself this one question is it a real problem or are you just imagining it whenever my brain is going on a tangent and is just going deeper and deeper into the black hole of despair this one prompt is just enough to snap me out of it because here's the truth most of the problems that you have are imaginary and then your brain comes up with solutions to these imaginary problems which are also imaginary say you have applied for a job somewhere and the interview went well but then you get a mail that you have not been selected that is obviously going to crush you, right? And that's fine. But the thing is, you have no idea, absolutely none whatsoever as to why you have not been selected. And in all fairness, it could have been something that has absolutely nothing to do with you. But because our realities are so self-centric, your mind is not even going to entertain this possibility. You literally have to force your brain to acknowledge that this could also be one of the reasons why you were not selected. And don't get me wrong, uh, feeling bad about not getting the job is absolutely fine, but that's not what we are doing, right? We are feeling bad about not being good enough for the job, which is something completely made up. We are making things worse than they actually are because of what we are creating in our minds. Catastrophizing. 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 This is one of my favorite words in English language, catastrophizing. I don't know, there's just something about it that rolls off the tongue. Anyway, you need to stop catastrophizing your life. You need to stop making every problem bigger than what it actually is. If you're in a rut and you need a break, just take it. Don't catastrophize. It does not have to be a commentary about your dedication or the passion that you have that for the thing. If you get rejected, just apply somewhere else. If you are getting rejected multiple times, 
sit down and figure out what is wrong and try to fix it if your boyfriend has not replied for 6 hours don't spiral out of control thinking that he doesn't love you anymore maybe he's just taking the longest nap of his life or he could be cheating on you but then what good is worrying about that going to do time will unfold all the realities on its own and you can deal with that when it actually becomes a problem instead of worrying about it becoming a problem managing your own brain is also a skill in itself and an important one but unfortunately it is one of those skills that not a lot of us have and distinguishing between real and imaginary problems is also a skill and like any other skill it is something that will get better with practice but don't worry just know that you will get better with time just ask yourself this one question is it a real problem or is it an imaginary one